Hello and welcome to Master Meteorology, the educational weather series covering the key concepts I learned at San Jose State while earning my Master's in Meteorology. Some of the key questions we'll answer today are what is synoptic meteorology, what are extratropical cyclones, and what are fronts and why do we care about them? Let's get started. All right, let's get into our first question of the day. What is synoptic meteorology? Now, when we're talking about synoptic, it's basically a fancy way of saying large scale weather. This is in contrast to micro scale, which is less than five kilometers, or mesoscale, which is five kilometers to a thousand kilometers. Synoptic is a thousand kilometers or more, at least leading up to the planetary scale. And when we're talking about synoptic meteorology, we're usually talking about something on the scale of a mid-latitude cyclone, or an extratropical cyclone, which leads into our next question, what is an extratropical cyclone? Now when you hear the words extratropical, you might be inclined to think it's super tropical, like it's right on the equator, but this is actually the opposite of what's true. When we say extratropical, we're actually talking about outside of the tropics, in the mid-latitudes, which is from 23.5 degrees to about 66 degrees. The reason this is outside of the tropics doesn't have as much to do with weather as it does actually the tilt of Earth's axis. If you think back to my minute meteorology video on why we have seasons, you'd remember me saying the Earth's axis is at a 23.5 degree tilt. And this affects our definition of tropics because past that latitude, there is no point in the year where the sun will be directly overhead. And that's how we define extra tropical. Now for the cyclone part, a cyclone is basically the inward motion of winds around a low atmospheric pressure. In the northern hemisphere, these winds spin counterclockwise, and in the southern hemisphere, they spin clockwise. The reason the rotations are different depending on the hemisphere has to do with the Coriolis force, but we'll get into that in another episode. The last question is, what are fronts and why do we care about them? Now, I know you've heard a weatherman talking about warm front moving in, cold front moving in, and you probably didn't know what he was talking about, but it's actually not that hard to understand. A front is basically when air of a different density is moving in to air of a different density. It's when two different air masses meet. So in the example of a cold front, it's when cold, dense air is moving into an area where there's warmer, less dense air. And the reason we care about that is that's gonna cause uplift, or easier to understand, extreme weather, kind of weather we care about. So when that cold weather moves in, it's made up of dense air, and that warm air is less dense, so as that air moves in, the warm air is gonna get pushed up. As it gets pushed up, it cools and condenses, forming clouds, which can form thunderstorms, which can form tornadoes, aka exciting weather. Now, the four types of fronts are cold, warm, stationary, and occluded, but I'll get into those definitions in a later episode. So if you felt like you learned something today, remember to subscribe so that you can learn something in the future. Thanks for watching.